Hey guys, welcome to another Ahashi Codes video. It's been a really long time since I made a new video because I was really with school and other stuff. But now that summer break is out, I'll be putting out some new content. In today's video, we'll be creating a DIY experiment to find out the fastest computer language out of three, Java, JavaScript, and Python. To do that, we'll make a sorting algorithm in each of the three languages. This sorting algorithm will be a bubble sort algorithm, which will sort 2,000 random numbers in a list. I put this experiment in my school science fair and I got it to stay. I hope you can learn a lot from this experiment as there are many factors for finding out the execution time of a given program. So anyways, let's get to the coding. So let's get started with the JavaScript code. So the first thing, we need to find the time at the start of the program. So let's do con start is equal to date dot now, okay? And then now we have to create the bubble sort algorithm. So let's make a function. Let's call it bubble sort. And I'll make this capital because it looks way better. And data. Okay. And then inside it, we'll create a for loop. So for bar i is equal to zero, i has to be less than data dot length and i plus plus so now let's create another for loop inside so for bar j equals zero j has to be less than da data dot length minus i minus one and then semicolon j plus plus okay and inside of that we'll create a if if statement so if data j is less than I mean greater than data j plus 1 then bar temp is equal to data j data j is equal to data j plus one and data j plus one has to be equal to temp okay and then now let's go over here so let me check if all this code is right so okay equal already missed something and yeah that should be good so now we have to create the variables that'll be the array and the data inside the array okay so var data is equal to like empty list and var ran is equal to zero okay now let's create 2000 random numbers and we'll add it to the array which is data so for var loop equals zero loop has to be less than 2001 because then it's 2000 and loop plus plus okay now ran is equal to math dot round so ran will be like the random numbers then math dot random which is a function and then we'll multiply it by a thousand because math dot random it basically returns like a random value between zero and one it says right there so like it'll it'll give out a random number like zero point like that and it'll keep going. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna multiply by a thousand so that the decimal point gets like uh, so that the number can be between one to a thousand and not like a decimal. So if we want it not to be a decimal, then we have to do a math dot round. So that's why we made this line. Okay, and then we will create data loop is equal to ran for example look loop zero will be equal to a random number and loop one will be equal to like another random number okay so that's what we're trying to say here okay every time we go through the cycle one more random number will be added 
let's call the bubble sort function so bubble sort data and then now we'll print the sorted array so console.log data now we'll find the time at the end of the program so we do const end is equal to data dot nap and now we'll print the execution time so let's do that console dot log the execution time was plus because that's a string uh, end minus start plus and then we'll add another string milliseconds okay so now let me tell you what this part does let's just say that the uh, array is five nine two eight and six okay that's the list that we're trying to give to sort okay if we look at five nine we can't sort it because five is less than nine but if we look at nine two that means two is less than nine but nine is like previously so we have to switch it so two nine five two nine and then for every cycle it'll keep doing that so is nine greater than eight yeah it is so then it'll switch it is nine greater than six yeah so then it will, it'll switch it is five greater than two yeah so then it'll switch it okay two five eight six okay now is eight greater than six so yeah it's let's switch it and then finally it can, if it, when it can't switch it anymore it'll like return it so it'll be five two five six eight nine it's like the sorting um sorted um array so now we're kind of done with the whole thing so to run this we'll have to go to extensions and we have to do code runner this first one and then we'll install it now let's go back and now we'll see like there's this play button so let's play it Data dot no. Oh, it's not data dot no. It's date dot no. Let's see. Yeah. Now let's run it. Yep. So it has a ton of items, 1901 more items, and it's already sorted like 99 of them. And then the execution time was 26 milliseconds. So let's run again. 15 milliseconds. 14. 15. So basically, we can agree that the um like so the rounded value is like 16 or 15. Okay, so that'll be amount of milliseconds for JavaScript. Now let's go and hop on to um Spider for the Python. Okay, so now we're on Spider. You can download Spider and then um what I did is I, I downloaded Anaconda Navigator. And in that, there'll be Spider, which can be like the access to Python notebooks and those all those other stuff. So then what I created is like a, a new file. So now we'll do all the code. So then the first part is we need to import the necessary modules for the program. So import random and then we'll import the time function. So import time. Notice. Okay. So now we'll have to find the start find the time at the start of the program let's do start as the indenting start is equal to time dot time okay now the next thing is we need to create the necessary variable so loop is equal to zero index is equal to zero the no is equal to 1001 basically the numbers oh wait why am i putting semicolon Python. I'm stuck in JavaScript. Okay, so then ran is equal to zero and array is equal to empty brackets, which is a list. So now let's create the bubble sort function. So def bubble sort array. Now for i in range, basically it's like a normal for loop, len array which is the length of the array so now for j in range zero len the length of the array 
minus i minus y. Basically, it's the same thing that's happening in the JavaScript. So, yeah, and be sure to put these like colons. So now we'll have to create another if, if loop, like how we did in JavaScript. So array j, and basically it's the exact same thing. Array j is greater than array j plus one. And then temp is equal to, what happened? Oh, temp is equal to array j, and then array j is equal to array j plus one and then array j plus one is equal to temp and basically the syntax might be different but the exact same algorithm for bubble sort so now after we have done that now let's create the 2000 random numbers so let's create a while loop while loop is less than the amount of numbers rand is equal to random dot rand int zero to a thousand this like a random integer and then array dot append which is adding something to the array rand which is the random number so we'll add the random number and then we'll have to do a loop is equal to loop plus one Okay, and then loop is equal to loop plus one. Okay, and then the next thing is we need to call the bubble sort function. So we'll do bubble sort array. And then we'll have to print the sort array. So we have to do print array since it's going to be sorted and then now we'll find the time at the end of the program so we'll do end is equal to time dot time and then we'll find the execution time so let's print and minus start okay now it's good so three three zero point three one seven five five is the aka um that's if we have to multiply by a thousand because that um a thousand milliseconds equal to one second and since this is so this is showing in seconds thousand times that's 317 milliseconds so that's a lot let's do it again 323 317 316 324 yeah we can agree said like 317 mark 317 16 somewhere around there so now we're done with the python code now let's move on to the Java code, which is probably the most complicated of them all. So let's get started with another round of coding. And what I did is I downloaded um, Eclipse and I got Java from there. And basically I added a new file and let's get started. So now let's import the necessary classes for the program. So import java.txt, oh my God, it's caps, import java dot text dot parse exception semicolon yeah now it's happy now let's import java dot text dot simple date format and import java dot util dot that and yeah okay this will be helpful for finding the time the simple date format so now let's do public class sort bubble as I put over here sort bubble dot java so public class sort bubble and public static int r num is equal to 2001 and then now we'll create like a sort of function with the timer algorithm inside and the loop to make 2000 numbers in the array so public static 
void main string args. And then long is equal to start time is equal to zero. Wait, what? Long start time. And then long end time is equal to zero. And simple date format SDF is equal to new simple date format Wait, what's, what's going on here string oh simple date format and then we'll make it the format for like finding the date so dd m y y y y h h m m s s dot s this will be helpful for finding out the timings, okay? Basically, start time and end time. And then now we're creating the format that can help us find that out. So, next is string date string is equal to sdf dot format new date write up with you and then we will do date dot date so date date now we will do this try date is equal to sdf dot parse date string Start time is equal to date dot get time and then do that and then catch ours exception e and then e dot print stack trace so now we've created like the whole like foundation for finding out like the timings and the next thing we have to do is create the whole bubble sort algorithm. So let's do that. It's, it's really similar to the um, ones that we did. Int r list is equal to new int r num. Uh, what's that? Okay. No nine. What happened over here? Oh, this. Okay, and then we'll create a for loop. So for int loop is equal to zero. Um, loop is less than r num loop plus plus. Oh, 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 the, oh, that, yeah, you mentioned the semicolon there. This is insert to complete class body. Okay, so now for that, and then let's do random. Random is equal to new random. Wow, so much randoms. Okay, and then we'll do int next ran is equal to random dot next int. A thousand. And then if the next rand is not equal to zero, that's the comparison operator for not equal. ARR loop is equal to next rand. Okay, now we that done. Now let's create the bubble sort. So bubble sort 
a r r that will sort it and then print array bubble sort a r r so now let's do sdf is equal to new simple date format uh d d m y y y y um h h m m s s dot s that will be the format yet again and let's do date string is equal to sdf dot format new date yeah don't worry about that we'll go to that afterwards then another try date is equal to sdf dot parse date string and time is equal to date dot get time and then we'll do after the try we're gonna catch uh, I've no worries Catch is, it, is catch parse exception e e dot print stack trace e r now after we have that now let's do a long result is equal to end time minus start time and then system dot out dot print ln this is gonna print like all of the uh, start times and end times and all this other stuff start time and then we'll do it again System dot out dot then ln end time and then system dot out dot print ln and finally we'll do result. Yes. And then now We'll, we will make the function that will print the array. So we'll do private static void print array, which is like the function. And then we'll do int krr. And then we'll do int ah, int n is equal to ar length to length of the array for int x is equal to 0 x is less than n and plus plus x and then we'll do system which is going to print everything system dot out dot print ln And then we're going to print out ARR X plus and then will that be enough? Wait, let's see. Yeah. Okay. Now let's do system dot out dot print LN then empty. So yeah, now after getting those, we will do the bubble sort function. So we'll do private static int bubble sort int arr, and then we'll do the things inside, which is int n is equal to r dot length 
and T. Okay. Length and 4 int i is equal to 0. Um, i is less than n minus 1. And i plus plus. For int j equals 0. J has to be less than n minus i minus 1 j plus plus. And then it's like very similar to the other parts of the um like for uh, like the Python and JavaScript. Oh yeah, these things. If they are j squared then and you guessed it arj plus one very similar then int temp is equal to arj and then i'm pretty sure you can do everything on your own now arj plus j is equal to arr j plus one then arr j plus one is equal to ar but not ar it's temp the final thing we have to do is we will have to um return the value so return arr and then now let us run the program okay so here's the code again all this okay if you have any error then you can just like pause it and kind of like just keep on typing it and yeah it should work so now there's no errors now let's run it okay, ignore these that just shows what 16 8 6 9 8 2 what, what does that show i have no idea what that shows Oh, 2023. Oh, it's showing the date. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It says over here. Okay. I'm dumb. Okay. So it shows all the array. And then, yeah, it's like pretty big. And then now it says 31. So that means 31 uh, milliseconds. Let's run again 38, 33, 37, 30, 35. So it's always in the 31. So we can just like agree it's like at 33, somewhere around there. So now that we've gotten all of the. Um, all of the like what do you call it milliseconds for each of the programs we can determine that javascript is the fastest python has like 300 and like something milliseconds like 23 then this has 33 java and javascript's having the fastest okay so i hope you like i hope you like this like um experiment this neat experiment that you could do on your own and Feel free to ask any questions in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!